This is your go-to resource for all beginning policy information, and today I'm here to answer a question. Why does AC kicked up like that? I'm here to answer a question, which is, what are some common misconceptions about powerlifting? I gathered 12. I just dug up my nose. I just gathered 12, though, which are what I'm about to name right now. First thing is the weight is that all that matters. Um, for me, this is one of the main things I paid attention to, but there are other things that go into part of the thing, and I got this from another like guy, but basically, you want to pay attention to your technique, um, form, and what was that last one? Positioning. Basically, he said that this is an, powerlifting is an art, and you want to make sure that you're putting yourself in the best possible position to um, lift your max weight, and that's true. For me, I lift pay attention to the weight though because like that's my thing. But there are other things you pay attention to. Second thing is the weight will eventually get easier to handle. Powerlifting is always all about lifting max weight. It'll never get easier. In fact, it'll get harder because you'll stop progressing as quickly as you did when you first started as you go through the years of powerlifting. Um, yeah, that's just a fact. Next, your food doesn't matter whatsoever. Your food is a very important piece in your uh, in powerlifting mainly because. You need to make sure you recover. If you're not recovering in powerlifting, if you're not recovering, then you're not going to get stronger. You're going to overtrain your body. It's not going to be good. So you got to make sure you're getting the right mix of protein, carbs, and fats in order to lift their peak capacity. You can't work out with other people is the next one. I'm only going to name five or six. You can't work out with uh, other people in the next one. And mainly, I, I don't work out with other people because I, can't, I haven't been able to find people who want to lift weights with me. Or not even that, I just don't really care. I don't care to find these people yet. But, um, I haven't really been looking. But, um, yeah, it's, it's just a very social sport. I found that a lot of problems with the very kind people. They're very social. They like to talk. And it's not like, everybody isn't like, you're stuck on lifting the weight. They want to make friends and be really good people. So, yeah. Next is, it's not a lifestyle that's a definite lie. You have to make sure you're uh, preparing your body even outside of the gym. Make sure you're getting the right amount of sleep, the right number number of calories. Make sure you're setting yourself up for success. So you don't just go in the gym, lift the weights, and leave. It's, it's a very much a lifestyle. And last, is, well, there's 12 of them. I'm going to name it. This the last one because it's the sixth one. Powerlifters don't, powerlifters don't work arms. And that's a lie, obviously. You have to make sure you work your grip. You have to work your triceps. Your, I don't know if your shoulder's part of the arm, but your shoulders. Triceps, shoulders, um, that's for uh, the bench press and, you know, grip is part of your forearm. That's for deadlifting and obviously bicep is secondary to that. So, yeah, you have to work your forearm. Yeah. There's six more. You can check the article out to uh, see the rest of them. Also, follow me on social media, which are at, um, follow my Facebook account, Cora, Medium, Snapchat, uh, LinkedIn, all of that good stuff. Like and subscribe to the video for more um, information. And also, check out the Black Book of Powerlifting. It's going to be linked out to on in the description. It has all of the information I wish I had when I first started. And, yeah, see you for me next time. Peace.